Welcome to my site for EDCT 6901 Special Topics Workshop. This is my content creation module featuring podcasts and videos. If you're interested in AU Library Talks podcast episodes or the Instructional Resource Center at AU Library videos, they're available for review. Navigate the site using the sidebar menu or the module topic graphics. Podcast and video are located with content creation. The podcast and video developed are suitable for immediate use in AU Library's student orientation site in Blackboard Learn. They would be updates to introductions currently in place. Student learning outcomes would be knowledge or comprehension based. For example, Learners will be able to recognize collections and resources available in the Instructional Resource Center by listening to AU Library Talks Episode 1 and 2. Learners will identify IRC collections and resources by reviewing the IRC at AU Library videos. For podcasting, Audacity was my first choice. However, IRC computers lacked a component needed to export audio as MP3. My second choice was SoundCloud. I learned it was only available as an app and I wanted web-based platform for ease of use, so I researched other options, ultimately deciding on Anchor. Anchor is free. Content belongs to the creator. It includes analytics, ease of distribution, and can be recorded in the app and on the web platform. Anchor also provides HTML options for embedding, access to my podcast homepage, and two episodes are embedded on this site. The AE Library Talks homepage features the logo I developed in Canva for branding and an overview of the podcast. Included is attribution for the icons and the music used in the introduction and closing. They are Creative Commons licensed and free to use with attribution. Episodes are detailed with the guest's name, description, date recorded, and length of podcast. Listen by choosing an episode and selecting play. Welcome to AU Library Talks, a podcast about Ashland University Library and the Instructional Resource Center. AU Library Talks is hosted by Diane Schrecker. Curriculum Librarian, Head of the Instructional Resource Center. Welcome to AU Library Talks. Today, our guest is Instructional Resource Center student worker, Haley Thomas. Hi, Haley. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. During each episode of AU Library Talks, guests are asked 10 questions. Today's questions will help listeners learn something about Haley, and what she does as a student worker in the Instructional Resource Center at Ashland University Library. So we'll start with a simple one. Um, what is your major and your year here at Ashland? I am a dietetics major with a minor in Spanish and I'm in my final semester of my senior year. How exciting. Yes, very exciting. Final exciting. semester sounds fabulous, yes, doesn't it? Yes, yes. <laughs> How long have you worked in the IRC? Um, this would be my third year in the IRC. That's wonderful for me. <laughs> wonderful for me, but it's sad to see you leaving. Um, what types of things are you responsible for in the Instructional Resource Center? Yeah, so a few of the things that I do in the um, Instructional Resource Center is that I answer questions from patrons, um, all the way from questions about the equipment, the laminator, the Allison die machine, and also the material kits. And then also I try and answer questions um, for the second floor of the library if patrons come in and ask to help look for a call log to find a book. Um, I'm always happy to help with that as well. And then also regarding the prices of the materials in the IRC. The podcast is also available on a variety of apps. Select listen to your favorite app and see where. Anchor is user-friendly. 
The site dashboard details podcast setup information and listening statistics. Episodes list episodes published. Select one to view details. To create a new episode, select New Episode. Record directly online or click to upload. Also use the content library. This allows me to use the same introduction and ending for every podcast episode. Reflecting on the content of the podcast, I'm very pleased with the results and have plans to move forward. IRC student workers were my podcast guests. We talked about ideas and I provided them with questions in script format prior to any recording. This helped with recording nerves for all of us. My student workers are adults, however it was important they receive a release form providing them with rights to their recordings and allowing AU Library Creative Commons attribution rights for non-commercial use of the audio. As to things I would do differently, I created my Anchor account using a personal email. This may be problematic at a later date. When thinking about audio, I will use Anchor to record episodes for consistency. There is a distinguishable difference between audio introduction and exit bumpers created in Anchor and those that were created solely in Audacity. For video content, I use the iMovie app. I have three videos with similar storyboard concepts. The first follows the iMovie's trailer format. It has a predetermined length, a set storyboard with graphics, and a soundtrack. It's short and fun. The second video is more freeform in nature. Themes selected to use with pictures, graphics, titles, animation, audio, and transitions. It's longer and has a different mood. The additional length provided opportunity for IRC hours, website, and social media to be featured. The third video incorporates narrative spoken by an avatar. I had originally planned to use Voki Presenter. Unfortunately, there isn't a download option and only paid versions allow for embedding. I decided to use Animaker to create an introduction, exported it to YouTube, and inserted it into a remixed version of the second video. City Library. This video features IRC collections, resources, equipment, and technology.
Reflecting on the video creation portion of this module, I especially like the fun factor in the movie trailer video. While it was challenging to say in the set parameters, the end result was more professional. The second video provided necessary information, but was somewhat busy with different font styles and animations. I like the concept of the third video and think it would have benefited from being done completely in Animator. I found the sound differences distracting. And finally, resources for further reading are presented and references provide links to platforms and help pages. Thanks for listening to my content creation module.